One of the biggest challenges of online learning has been the negative impact it can have on children's sleep. Here to tell us how to put a stop to all the tossing and turning and improve sleeping habits and pediatric sleep consultant, Amanda Jusen. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. I hope you're doing well as well. Uh, what impact does screen time have on sleep for our children? Well, look, they are not moving the same way they used to. They're yeah. not getting outside. We're not moving the same way. They're not running around like crazy people on the blacktop. Um, so they're really, uh, there's they're, they're so much energy, not to mention the mental energy that they are not uh, exuding. They're not having that fight with Susie next to them. Mm -hmm. They can't problem solve. So what they do is they bring all of that energy back to bed and they're crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I see this so much in my son. He just has all of this energy that I didn't realize how much he, you know, lets out with his friends, like just playing totally. around on the schoolyard. So what can people do? Yeah. What can families do to reduce the impact of screens on their sleep and overall health? What are some tips? There's so much. Uh, number one, we are getting an overwhelming amount of blue light from our computers, from our tablets, from our phone. You can implement blue light glasses. These are mine, they're prescription, but you can go to any drugstore and pick up a pair. You can also change the settings on your phone. So you can change it to night mode or dark mode. That's going to reduce the amount of blue light. Blue light literally goes into your brain and it tells your brain not to produce melatonin in, which makes us feel sleepy. So the faster that we can change those settings, the better. I have those uh, glasses from my kids. I think they're great. What about a cutoff time mm -hmm. from screens? I suggest this for the whole family. For grown-ups, if you're working from home, you want to shut it down two to three hours before bed. No work emails, no work calls, nothing. And for the rest of the family, we want a solid 30 to 60 minute break of phones, tablets, TVs before bed. What about meditation? You say that's pretty important. It is. So meditation is sort of like something that's preventative. If you can give yourself five to 10 minutes at a time to relax, go inward, it actually builds some capacity later on. It allows us to reduce stress and it can help us when we're feeling less stress and our cortisol levels are down, we sleep better at night. Uh, you also say have conversations on your feet. Unpack this one for us. <laughs> So I actually do this with my clients. So I do a walk and talk. Uh, if we have a quick phone call or if you are working from home, pop in those earbuds and have that call on the go. Suggest that your person on the other end does it as well so it's not so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you frame it like that. All right, some parents across the country, uh, you know, they've got their kids already in school, but some are heading back to the classroom on Monday after being in virtual school. What tips do you have for parents as they help adjust to the back to school living? Listen, kids have been out of school in some places around the country for about a month or so. There will be an adjustment period. Uh, generally about two weeks uh, is what I see in my home. Um, I suggest knowing that your kid might be tired, offering an earlier bedtime temporarily so they can make up on any of that overtiredness they're bringing home and offer downtime when they get home. Quiet activities like puzzles, books, and coloring reading instead of really high high activity or over scheduled afternoons are going to make all the difference for you and your child. Amanda, thanks so much. Always good to see you. Great tips. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.